Good day, this is Dr. Conrad Miller with your Fukushima update for February 2nd, 2016. It has been a while since I've given you an update, but let me tell you what's going on now. Since the accident on March 11th, 2011, when we had the multiple explosions of the multiple units at Fukushima in Northeast Japan, radioactive water has been running out of the plant at the rate of 400 tons per day. TEPCO, the Tokyo Electric Power Company that runs the plant, built a wall, a seawall, 100 feet deep into the bedrock to try to stem the flow of this radioactive water. They claim that it has to the rate now of 300 tons of radioactive water per day. However, measurements of the fish and in the seawater outside the plant are still the same. And the wall is starting to lean 20 centimeters towards the ocean already since October. The measurements of the fish in the Fukushima area of the Pacific are still the same, a thousand becquerels per kilogram, and that is way too high for consumption, at least in Japan, where they only allow a hundred becquerels of cesium per kilogram. Of course, there are all the other elements that uh, we have to worry about being in fish and food and so on in the ocean and on the land. In the United States, we allow 1,200 becquerels per kilogram of cesium in our food. Germany recommends only five becquerels per kilogram of cesium in any food because this adds up to bioaccumulate after a while and bioconcentrate in our bodies. So after three years of ingesting radioactive cesium, we might be at the point where we're about 1,500 becquerels in our body because the half-life of cesium is 30 years. The hazardous life is 10 to 20 half-lives or 300 to 600 years. So it bioaccumulates in our bodies, especially in the kids, and women and, and children are more susceptible to the cancers. And this can also affect the heart. This has been called Chernobyl heart in the studies that have been done, where once you have a 30 kilogram kid, for example, and they have 1,500 becquerels of cesium in their body. That means they have 50 becquerels per kilogram of cesium in their body, and that will cause damage to the heart and also to the kidneys and the bladder. So we don't want that to happen to our people. But in Japan, they want them to move back in because they want to cut off the subsidies to the people that have evacuated due to the accident. They're opening a town, making it look like everything's wonderful, then they can cut off the subsidies to people that have relocated, which will happen apparently in March of 2017. They still have the secrets laws in effect in Japan where you can't be a journalist and report any critical news about Fukushima. So that stems the information of what's really coming out, and now they're sending groups out to America and other countries saying it's just a rumor that everything's wrong over here, as if nothing's going on. Meanwhile, we have the Olympics coming up there, too. So that's basically the story in a nutshell. Uh, one other thing is that in the Fukushima area, the exposure to radiation is about 2,000 millirems per year, which over a lifetime will cause one in six people to have cancer when it's supposed to be only with nuclear power. They say, oh, one to 10,000 or one to a million people get cancer. But now they're saying one to six is okay. So this is not good. And these people shouldn't have to move back in. The normal background radiation exposure is really about 100 millirems per year at sea level, 200, year, 200 millirems up in the mountains of Colorado, for example. So that's the basic story. And um, be aware that this leakage could go on forever. They don't know how to stop it. And sooner or later, this is going to bioaccumulate up the whole chain uh, in our lot, plant life and sea life and get onto the land. We're consuming that food, and it will add up in our bodies, and it will add up in the environment and in the Pacific Ocean as time goes along, unless they can figure out a way to really stop the leakage. But the plant still is too hot to get inside these units 
where some of the exposure is at one little spot in a room in the middle of unit two is 940 rems exposure per hour which will kill you within a few days at least so it's still too hot still too many hot spots inside the plant and the water is still leaking out that is your Fukushima update February 2nd 2016 Dr. Conrad Miller